All right, here we go with the eighth note version of this four note coil. And you mentioned there's just one section where it feels like that it gets all weird. So whatever section that was in this, if you need to just focus on that part and that part alone, that's not a bad idea. All right, here's how it should go. Good old 60. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, eight, one, two, one, two, three, four. Two, forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. try doing that too. Really milk those eighth notes for all they're worth before we're going back to 16s. So make sure you get past 240. Don't just shoot for at least 240. Shoot for going past it before going back to 16s. All right, number two. Going between a gallop and a reverse gallop and using chord shapes that we have covered so the question is, what two chords are being used for this riff? 60, one, two, three, four. Actually, no, 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 100. One, two, three, four. One, forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two hundred, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, let's see the other thing, the theory. All right. Looks like we have three more to go. Figuring out the notes for that descending D Dorian part. But, uh, you just go ahead and send it over whenever it's done. No need to wait until next week. This way we can have you start practicing this stuff as soon as possible. But everything that is already written, you can practice that stuff. The goal is to make it through 100% smooth, no mistakes at all. And yes, doing it at 60 is totally fine. All right, any questions come up, let me know. I'll see you next week.